graduated. What's left to do besides kick off the summer with a big party? But here's what happens when one group of seniors cause massive mayhem by staging a school's over cookout right in the teacher's parking lot. Welcome to Marlton, New Jersey. Though it sits just outside of big city Philly, this place has held on to its small town vibe. Marlton is pretty much your quintessential suburban town. There's not a lot to do, we just kind of hang out. The entertainment around here gets pretty repetitive. The mall movies, just hang out at someone's house. But Marlton's Cherokee High School is big and comes fully equipped with plenty of activities and an upbeat student body. Everybody gets really involved into different clubs and sports and activities. Uh, we like Spear Week and Pep Rallies. Our class tried to do a lot of activities to bring everybody closer together. Our class had a great sense of humor. Everyone just got along. That's Matt. This well-liked student council member will do just about anything to get a laugh. He always had a good sense of humor. I was always looking for a good time. He would lift his legs up in the air and just fart in the middle of class. <laughs> Not before. Matt, he's a funny kid. We had a good time. Yeah, we partied pretty hard. Meet Mike, Matt's main man and partner in crime. If there was mayhem to be made in the halls of Cherokee High, these two were usually at the root of it. We just always had a great sense of humor. We were always joking around. We could be troublemakers if we wanted to, but like just cross the line. So naturally, when the time came to concoct their class's senior prank, these two pranksters were pleased to oblige. We wanted to pull a prank. We had to do something great. We were a great class. Uh, they needed to remember us. But what would be big enough for this dynamic duo? With just one week till graduation, Mike and Matt finally solved that equation one morning in chem lab. We sat around and discussed some of the ideas we came up with. Matt came up with a good idea to block off our senior parking lot and just have a huge tailgate party basically in the parking lot. It's a giant party night. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great idea. idea. At my high school, there's a main lot where the faculty and also where the seniors park. And then there's a smaller lot where all the juniors park. We're going to completely block off any opening to the senior parking lot so no one could get in. We'd make the faculty park in the junior parking lot so that way the juniors would have to park down the street and walk to class. And it was just going to be like the seniors are ruling the parking lot right now. So the who and the what were coming together. But with so little time left in the school year, the question was when. We wanted to do this prank after. After we graduated, we had graduated school on Saturday, and all the other classmen had to go back on Monday. We already graduated. There's nothing they can do to us. If the prank was going to be as huge as the guys were planning, they would have to get the word out and fast. We didn't want it just to be like a couple kids. We wanted the entire senior class to be involved. We wanted a huge party, and we started spreading the idea to everybody else. Just tell everybody. Tell everybody. The word spread like, like wildfire. There was a lot of talk about it. On the phone, we were just letting everybody know that this is what's going to happen. That's like the best idea ever. It was business as usual that last week of school, but as soon as graduation was out of the way, the seniors sprung into action. The night before, we went to a local food store and bought hamburgers, hot dogs, so we had stuff to make it look like a barbecue was going on in the parking lot. Then we relaxed, basically, and waited for the big show to happen. We just went up there pretty early in the morning, and we're sitting there with the only ones there. So we weren't sure if anyone was going to show up, but then just, like, more and more people came. Everybody started showing up, like, right around the same time. We were being directed where to put our cars. We took a few cars, and we put them in the main entrance. We strategically placed the cars all around, like, the perimeter of the parking lot, so that way there was no possibility of anyone getting into the lot. We set up the grill. We started throwing the burgers and the hot dogs and stuff on. People were playing badminton, roller skating. People were laying out tanning. People were playing soda pump. Some people bought water guns. It was just... Ridiculous. I guess this prank might work out after all. It was just like a big senior party in the middle. It was a good time. By 7 a.m., the party was already in full swing as the seniors anxiously awaited the faculty's arrival. When the first teacher pulled up at the parking lot, it was like everybody started cheering. It was like, get out of here. We jumped on top of their cars like a bunch of monkeys and just started banging on their windows, and they looked horrified. They were just horrified. They had no idea what was going on. So we directed them into the, like, the junior parking lot. Well, you guys can park in here. And after they pulled away, people would like cheer. People would get excited. After we knew we had the authority, there's no way they're getting in. More teachers started getting pissed off because they had to walk. It was amazing. When the juniors started showing up, they told them to get out of here, like, you're not parking in our, in our lot. And then there were seniors standing there yelling at us, saying, oh, no, you're not allowed to park here. We just told them, like, no, you're not getting in. What are you going to do about it? Hey, come on! But not everyone was up in arms. Some teachers got into the seniors' groove and actually joined the parking lot party. A couple of the teachers that came in, they played soda pond, they ate hamburgers and hot dogs, they hung out with us. It was surreal. Everything's gone according to plan, exactly how we wanted to, maybe better than what we wanted to. But all 
good things must come to an end. Before the parking lot party could disrupt the school day any further, someone inside the building called out the big guns. All of a sudden, the cops show up. The police officer he said, do you guys just need to leave? Party's over. I have a feeling some of the teachers may have called the district building or some of the cops to come and check it out and make sure everything gets ended pretty quick. People started to pack up what they had brought. Everybody started piling out. I'm surprised we got to last as long as we did. Satisfied with their senior prank success, Matt and Mike went home to sleep off the AM mayhem. But back at Cherokee, the morning's events yielded an unexpected outcome. Later on that day, there was an announcement on loudspeaker about how they're letting all school out early. Due to the incident this morning with the senior prank, all classes will be canceled for the rest of the afternoon. School is dismissed. <laughs> We were all really excited that we got to leave early because it was our last day. I guess the administration was scared that the seniors would come back and do something else to us. When I heard about this, I was like, wow, we made much of a bigger impact than we expected to do. I thought that was kind of cool that they expected us to come back and do more. So in the end, Mike and Matt had done exactly what they wanted. They pulled off a prank that their whole senior class could enjoy and will remember. I couldn't have asked for a better end to my senior year. Yeah, the prank brought everybody together for that one last time. It was something that everyone could participate in, everyone was a part of, and it was kind of like a last farewell. It was absolutely a great memory of high school, and it was just a fun time for everybody.